Hello, this is a video to show you the main differences between the family Crocodilia. Today, there are three surviving families of Crocodilian. These include Crocodilianae, Alligatoridae, which contains two subfamilies, Cayman and True Alligators, and lastly, two subfamilies of Gavilidae, Garial and False Garial. There are currently 14 extant species of crocodile, two species of true alligator, six species of caiman, one species of garial, and one species of false garial. Due to the fact there are so many species of crocodilian that vary in size and shape, it can be easy for people who don't study these animals to get confused. I'll explain it by giving the most widely common characteristics of one group and point out any possible similarities in individual species that they may share with a different group. I'll start with the main two that everyone confuses, crocodiles and alligators. Looking at them from the top downwards, crocodiles generally have a long, almost triangular snout, usually with a few inward curves towards the tip. Alligators, however, have an almost perfectly rounded shortish snout by comparison. Side on, you can easily see the many curves of a crocodile's snout, as well as the many upward and downward pointing teeth even when the mouth is closed. Whereas on an alligator, it has a sufficiently smoother maw, and in most cases, only the top teeth can be seen pointing out when the mouth is closed. The osteoderms, or scutes, are often more pronounced, pointed, and larger on most species of crocodile than they are on both species of alligator. The teeth of an alligator are more cone-shaped, whereas crocodiles have very sharp, dagger-like teeth. The dwarf crocodile may sometimes be confused with a small alligator or caiman, as unlike other members of its family, it has a shorter snout, and by far the smallest adult size, at 6.2 feet on average, though the teeth are still very dagger-like. In most cases, it is much easier to tell the difference between a crocodile and a gharial as crocodiles have much broader snouts, and the gharial has an incredibly thin snout that does not fit the rest of its body. Adult male gharials have a large gara at the end of the snout, where their nostrils are. However, females do not have this. Gharials also have eyes that protrude out the side of their heads, similar to that of a frog. A crocodiles are much less protrusive, and sit comfortably on the top of the head, without bulging out over the sides of the maw. The slender-snouted and freshwater crocodile both share similarly thin snouts like that of the gharial, but lack the over-protruding eyes and the gara. The false gharial also lacks protruding eyes and a gara on adult males. There has been much debate whether it is a true crocodile or not. Closer looks at its DNA has placed it in the same superfamily as the gharial. Caimans share many similar traits with true alligators, such as rounded snouts, but caiman often have pointier, dagger-like teeth, a trait they share with crocodiles, as well as an often orange colour to the inside of their mouths. Alligators have pink, creamish colouring to theirs. Caiman also have a much larger top jaw to their bottom, whereas alligators have a slight overbite. Although not a trait shared by all caiman, most species have a slight V-shape to their eye scoots. As stated previously, caimans share some traits with both crocodiles and alligators, though crocodiles are more distant. Crocodiles do not have an overbite or much smaller mandible compared to the top jaw. Their jaws more or less slot perfectly together at very nearly the same length. Alligators and caiman are as far away from a gharial as you can get before leaving the order Crocodilia. It does not take much thinking to tell the difference. Behaviour between species varies greatly, and is not a very good way to differentiate families. As saltwater crocodiles are very territorial, and adult males will often kill smaller males that happen to pass into their territory. Nile crocodiles and American alligators will happily live alongside large numbers of their own species, and sometimes members of other species. The American alligator and American crocodile have been known to share the same habitat together peacefully. A wee bit of trivia. While some species of crocodiles like the Cuban and American crocodile can interbreed with one another, 
it is impossible for crocodiles, alligators, gharials, and caiman to interbreed. The smallest crocodilian alive today is the dwarf caiman, at 4.7 feet long for males, whereas the largest is the saltwater crocodile, at 20.7 feet on average for males. The largest reported crocodilian in the wild was Gustav, a Nile crocodile from Burundi National Park in Africa, at around 25 feet. If you want to know more about him, I've done a video specially for him. Click the annotation to go watch.